What's up guys, today I'm in St. Louis. No, we're not gonna get Korean food again, but even though that's good at Juju. Today we're gonna try this pretty new Korean style chicken, CM chicken. My sister say it's good, and the garlic chicken is popping. Let's go in and check it out. Alright guys, we got the fried chicken. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about. Actually, they're the same place. CM Chicken and Song's Hot Dog. Same owner. What's up guys? Welcome back. It's your Asian Phenom. I'm in the St. Louis area. We are going to review the CM Chicken Korean style fried chicken. Now, I've already tried some in the Seattle area and they are good. So we want to see how St. Louis represents it Korean style. Alright, so I opted for the half chicken, which is garlic, and that turned out to be $19.99, so $20. So here's some of the garlic sauce right here, and this comes with a style, which is Korean style pickled uh, radish, which is basically daikon, pickled daikon, okay? Similar to the daikon slices that you get at Korean restaurant. Mm, oh, it's proper. Now here's some main ingredient. It was making our car smell so heavenly. Here we go. See that? So, I believe they told me for half a chicken, there are, let me count how many pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So you got drumstick right here. And yes, I washed my hand, don't worry. I'm gonna share this with my parents. I think brass part of this. Here's a uh, wing. Okay, you got legs, breasts, all body parts. So let's go ahead and hit up this drumstick right here. As you can see, I definitely smell the garlic flavor. That's probably infused in here. It looks super crispy. Now let's go ahead and dip it in this. Garlic sauce, let me take a quick sniff of that. Oh yeah, that smells like your Thai sweet chili, but with garlic infused flavor. Oh, it looks like honey garlic, all right? Let me dip a generous amount. Okay, so here we go. Thank you, Father, for blessing us with this delicious chicken. Here we go. You hear that crunch? Mm, oh man, the garlic flavor it is so good. I mean, taste flavors of salt, pepper, onion powder. A lot of flavor going on. Now let me take a bite without the sauce. It is spicy too. And by the way, this has a heat level of one. I think out of um, three. Even without the sauce, it's good. Mmm. It's delicious chicken, no doubt. Still juicy, not dry. Now, I do have a suggestion. I think for the price, they should at least throw in some type of maybe some special biscuit. If they could, if there's like a Korean style flavor on a biscuit that they can kind of take from Popeyes, you know how the biscuits is very good. 
add some honey into it and just infuse some type of Korean, maybe like, I don't know, kimchi flavor, make it spice it up. That would be a great addition as a side that goes with their chicken purchase. So guys, I think the verdict is them. Now, of course, the price isn't the cheapest because plenty of competition in St. Louis area, Midwest. We have churches, we have Popeyes, we have KFC. Um, I think we even have Raising Cane's, which I've never tried. And now we even have Korean fried chicken. So it looks like part of the restaurant is uh, also hot dogs. So that's a good combination. I feel like maybe if people feel that maybe the fried chicken is overpriced, they can uh, have cheaper food versions. It's really good. I definitely think it's worth at least trying once because Korean style ash, they do everything, in my opinion, better, especially when it comes to movies. I love Korean movies. And I actually, in the Seattle area, I always go enjoy Korean food uh, at least once every week. And this fried chicken is definitely representative of the Korean culture. Very flavorful. Even though it's on the pricey side, I'm going to hit this up with a score of 84%. There you have it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Eat hard. Work out harder, baby.